Hi, I'm V and I'm back after really long. There's just been so many things going on in my life. I'm writing a book. There are so many articles that I'm doing for magazines and newspapers. There's just been like one thing after the other. And hopefully I have more time now uh, to devote to my blog because this is something that I really love. And uh, it's really my passion project. So um, yeah, so now I'm back shooting videos. Also, I don't believe that you should just shoot videos because, oh, I have to do two videos in a week. So I'm going to shoot whatever garbage no I just feel like I should shoot when I really feel like shooting and when I have something nice to share instead of just like you know a tick in the box so anyway today I want to talk about like this amazing face massage that I have been doing for like a couple of months now I do it every morning it's called the Tanaka face massage I'm going to put a link uh, under the video to the original Tanaka videos now um, this lady is like a beauty expert in Japan and she has this lymphatic drainage massage which I follow religiously and I swear to god I feel like my face is a little more lifted and chiseled and whatever um, and I just feel like right after I do the massage I can feel this tightness on my on my face like after working out you feel this kind of uh, like slight bit of soreness on your body I feel that soreness on my face so I know like it's really working uh, it can give you a little bit of breakouts but it won't won't give you breakouts that are like crazy um, so do this massage carefully and do it mindfully because it is an intensive massage so you have to be very careful about how you uh, rub your face just don't you know use too much of pressure but don't use too little pressure also because that will not show any effect so you can do this massage with an oil, you can do this massage with a cleanser, you can even do this massage with water, but you have to like keep wetting your face so that your fingers don't slip. Um, what I like to use is, I like to use a little bit of neem oil, I use this Kama neem oil, and I mix it in any lighter oil. These days I'm using this Pure Earth Bitter Apricot Oil. So I, because you know, you can't use neem oil as is, because it's just like, you know, it's, it's just too potent. So just a little bit, you don't want to apply too much oil on your face because then you're just shifting the oil around instead of actually, um, uh, you know, I mean, rubbing the muscle. If there's too much oil, then it's just like your fingers slide over the muscle. There's, you can't maneuver the muscle and tone it. So a little bit of apricot oil. If you do take a little bit extra, then just like rub it over your hands or whatever. And I think I have taken a, taken a little bit extra, so I think I'm just going to massage my arms also while I'm at it. Um, so, rub this nicely, then apply it over your face and your neck. Like I said before, not too much oil because, you know, then you'll just be like sliding the oil from one part to the other. I have a little bit extra oil. I've, I've taken a little bit more so I'm just going to massage it on my arms instead of wasting it but I'm not going to apply too much oil on my face now you can straight away start with the Tanaka massage in the video you can just um, you can straight away start with the massage technique but I like to kind of warm up my face first you know I mean I just feel like massaging on a cold face I don't know it's just something that I have in my in my mind maybe I'm completely wrong so just like kind of if you have the time to do this then you do this if you don't then you don't okay so I just like kind of rub my face first to just like warm it a little bit don't forget your lymph nodes which are down here this is your lymph line and we'll be using it a lot in this massage okay so just like rub it a little bit to warm it up then with your flat hands not with your fingers or your nails you go down the lymph line to detoxify the face first okay so three to five times one two three okay not down like this the lymph, the lymph line is here so you go down here all right I'm just going to even this out here so you can do three to five I like to do the whole um, all the strokes five times each but if it's too if it's making you break out or you think it's too intensive for you then you do three times so we do five strokes five, three to five strokes of this then press the center of your forehead down the temple and down the lymph line again you can do it start with just three times don't start with five I've been doing it for a while um, so I do five I tried doing it twice twice uh, twice a day but then I thought it's just too much and honestly in the evenings I like to work so 
um putting in a massage even though it takes like 3 to 5 minutes it just felt like too much of an effort in the evening okay so basically center of the center of the forehead to temples press down the lymph line then around the eyes so this so this action really takes care of the puffy forehead then this is around the eyes you will never have puffy eyes okay and it's really like gets rid of all that bloated i don't know extra fluid so middle finger you take it around press the brow and then the gentle hands here and then back outside the corner of your eyes up to the temples and down so basically with the middle finger up gently inside gently outside press press and down so again three to five times i like to do it five times but i'm just going to do it three times otherwise this video will just last forever okay so around your eyes then um then we do the we lift the corners of the mouth I'm getting a break out here because i'm not it's actually going down now stupid hydrating mask that i used from a luxury uh, brand and like i swear to god don't use any face masks with the fragrance in it don't use any face masks that say hydrating and comforting or you know things like that because you know i'd rather use like a really nice green natural face mask with clay or and and aloe vera or whatever than all these things that come in plastic tubes because my skin just reacts anyway next step is lifting up the corner of the mouth so so when you're doing the the, the tanaka massage you should press down on your teeth like this okay bite down on your mouth press for 3 seconds obviously don't talk like i am talking and back when you press down you should be able to feel your gums okay i'm going to do this four times because i love it five times okay so this kind of lifts up the corners of your mouth then i'm going to do uh, okay now i remember sorry i'm in the front of the camera after so long i completely forgot so yeah so now the sides of the nose three four times like this then the bridge of the nose three four times like this and then out towards the temple and then down then we're going to lift these this this area okay so we go up like this press under your eyes out and then down again up press out and then down press for 3 seconds don't forget i mean don't forget to bite down on your teeth because i just feel it gives that firmness out and down so up to you between 3 to 5 times and down now we will lift the sides of the face so first we will do the right side up press to the temple and down up press for second 3 seconds towards the temple and down so the pressure should be between pain and a, and a comfortable place okay so not uh, too much light hands because not really going to show any effect but not so hard also that you end up like uh, breaking a capillary or like you know or destroying the muscle structure same thing here press make sure you count the number of strokes on each side you don't want to do like 3 on one side and 5 on the other and then have like kind of a lopsided face i mean this massage is really powerful guys it really reduces all the fat from your face and gives you like really enhances your bone structure 
press. Also, I've put in all the four videos of Tanaka face massage underneath this link. Make sure you for you uh, um, watch all four videos because you know you'll get all the tips on what pressure to use. Always better to see the original than the copy. Okay, so we've done this now. Then is for the these nasolabial folds. So you press down inside towards the temple and down. This is also really deep offing, I find. Press. Try to use your entire fingers as much as you can up towards the temple and down. Press again three to five times. Choice is yours. Up and down. Now this. Uh, this next move you have to be careful you not careful about you should take care that you, you you basically want to lift your cheeks so your cheeks start from here so this part you have to lift it like this so you basically have to go up like this and then push your cheeks up so when you push your cheeks up start from the corners of your nose don't start from here because the muscle is connected from here so you need to start from here so you push up hold for three seconds and you see, push upwards. This is my favorite move, but you have to do it properly in one continuous stroke and starting from the corners of your nose. Press up. And up, down. Press up, hold it. And up, down. Now the next is for this sagging, all right? So you look down, push this towards the temple, reduce pressure and down the lymph line. Look down, press up towards the temple, look up, sorry I missed this in the last step, uh, not in the last step, in the last whatever I did right now, and down. So down, up towards the temple and down, three to five times up to you. Then is for the double chin. So you again bite down and put your entire chin, like the weight of your chin on your hand and then you will massage it towards the, till the inside of the ear, okay? So Three to five times. Okay, same thing on the other side. Press down and slowly. Okay. I love this, uh, this step which I'm going to show you now. It just lifts up the entire face. So like you're going to call out to someone. So uh, these two fingers join together here and the thumbs join another, under the chin. And then pull the entire skin towards the corner. I'm not biting my, uh, my teeth right now but you need to do that. And the uh, uh, thumbs under the chin and down. Just love this. And down. And up again. Down. I'm just going to do like two more times this. I haven't done my face massage in the morning. In fact, when I started the video, there was not even moisturizer on my skin. So before the other videos, you know, it looks really good if you do it before a party. Also, your skin looks really lifted. Uh, I love this massage. You, you can't even imagine how much. The only thing is you have to be careful about the right pressure and do it mindfully. And also if you have a very skinny face, it might make it thinner because it really reduces the fat from your face. So just, just see like, um, just see it in a few days if you like how your face is looking or if you need to use three strokes instead of five strokes. So anyway, that, that uh, lifts up the entire face. And then... We take care of these lines, so back and forth, up and down, 
all right make sure there's equal pressure when you're going up and down and back and forth around your forehead and then press and down so this is a tanaka massage i feel like it has lifted my face in the last couple of months it has made it look a little more chiseled and i feel like it's reduced these lines also a little bit you know i have a habit of raising my brows so you can see in the other videos you know try to compare i do feel like these these lines have also reduced i mean overall i'm really happy with this massage i feel like everyone should do it but just be a little careful in terms of like when you're doing it just don't do it blindly with so much of pressure that you should be able to feel each and every muscle and like you should feel like you're lifting it up instead of just like rubbing it raw so be mindful be careful and use a good oil i like this combination with neem because it's kind of antibacterial also um and yes don't forget to watch the original tanaka videos i've put all four links please watch all four videos you don't have to follow all four videos just watch it because i just feel like you may catch some nuance which i may have missed i may have missed some uh, some step also here so it's important to always watch the original